Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're not even halfway through season 11 yet, and we already have set leaks for Ninjago 2020 coming through. And we have two different lists to take a look at here. And as always, the first stage of the leaks begins with these lists that aren't really finalized. But this time there are two of them, which may imply that we are getting two different waves for Ninjago 2020. So we'll be taking a look at both of these wave lists, and I'll just be talking about them and providing my own sort of speculation. So out of our two lists, this is the bigger one. It definitely looks more like a wave that you'd be getting based off of a season. And I want to point out that the theme for this also definitely seems to be futuristic of sorts. We have a cyber dragon, and of course, you can pause the video if you want to take a good look. I'm not going to be reading out the names or anything. And also a gamer's market and arcade pods too. So I think this definitely hints towards a possible futuristic tone that Season 12 may be having. And I think that's super cool. As for the arcade pods, a lot of people are wondering what these are. I am too. But my only guess would be that these could be like the Ninjago movie pods in which we get these minifigures along with a few accessories. So that would be my only guess as to what those are. We also have TV sets, and these appear to be placeholder names, so we'll probably learn what these are later on. But we do have the amount of pieces for TV8, so it's going to be a smaller set, the size of Kai's Mech Jet or uh, the Velocity Racers. But yeah, it seems pretty cool. I'm also wondering what Gamer's Market is. That's a pretty interesting name, so yeah, I'm definitely hoping we can learn more about that. And also, I think the Cyber Dragon, that sounds really, really cool. Getting more robotic dragons is great. And a good robotic dragon, considering the last time around in Season 3, we had a Nindroid Mech Dragon, and that dragon was evil. So I think also having another futuristic dragon is pretty cool, too. It's a nice way to combine the futuristic element and, of course, the more traditional element, too. So I like it. And then we also have the Empire Temple of Madness, which is the biggest set of the wave, boasting 810 pieces. And this is, of course, the typical temple-like villain set that we get, like the Temple of Resurrection or the Forsaken Emperor Castle. So Season 12 appears to be continuing that trend. So this sounds awesome. I'm wondering if it does have a connection to the Madness Realm in any way. So I'm guessing we'll most likely get our main villain in this set. And that sounds really cool. It's a big set too. So I'm definitely hoping to pick up this one and the Cyber Dragon. The other sets sound cool, but don't really seem to stand out that much. Cool speeder car is a mini one. But actually, moving on to our second list here, this appears to be another Ninjago Legacy Wave, which is awesome. I think the first one was definitely a big hit. And it did succeed in many ways. It reinvented the sets while also making them feel new. So I think that's great. For this wave, we so far only have two out of the six set names revealed. And it appears they're going to be redoing the Jungle Raider from Season 4 and the Golden Mech. I personally don't really see a need to redo the Jungle Raider. I mean, I know the original one was a pretty boring set, but it never really was that unique necessarily. It never stood out, so I don't exactly understand why they're remaking it. The Golden Mech, however, I do understand, although the first one was a really good set, but it did release alongside the Temple of Light. So I think it's awesome that they're going to be remaking it, and I'm hoping to definitely pick this one up, even though the original one was definitely very good. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool, and it appears our Golden Mech is the biggest released one so far, but the Legacy one up above says 576 pieces, so this one will be the biggest one. Definitely wondering as to which set this could be. Maybe it could be Garmatron or something else back from Season 2. It also looks like they are going into the future seasons too, like Season 3 and Season 4. So they're not just reinventing the original three seasons. So yeah, I mean, I think that's awesome that they're going to reinvent some more seasons. And then also the other Legacy 2 set is only 81 pieces. So that's a small one too, and definitely has me wondering what it could be. Maybe something like the Hover Hunter. Honestly, I don't know, but time will tell. So just to wrap up this video and some concluding thoughts, I think it's awesome they're making another Legacy Wave. It is really cool. I mean, the first one was awesome, and it did mark a nice milestone. Although I'm wondering that if this is releasing in 2020, that's not really a milestone for Ninjago, so maybe this is for 2021. Honestly, I don't know, but I guess, again, time will tell. And as for the other main wave, it sounds really cool, too. I definitely have my concerns, such as Gamer's Market. I don't even know what that is. And yeah, but... Honestly, it does sound pretty cool, and getting another futuristic season, hopefully done right this time, does sound pretty cool. And it also sounds like Jay might be the focus season, or the focus character for this 2020 season. So I guess, again, we'll have to wait and see. But it sounds like Jay has the Cyber Dragon, which appears to be definitely more important than the others. And Ninja Whip had also posted something on Twitter a while back about Thunder. So I'm guessing that Jay might be the focus character, which is great because I do think Jay does need a focus season. So yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see how it actually does play out. 
But that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share with anyone ever you know. Let me know what you guys think of these set leagues and which ones you guys hope to pick up. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.